Dama Soccer Academy's hopes of reaching the finals of the league were dashed when River Heights sent them packing with a 3-1 scoreline. The second leg of their journey showed that they lacked in certain areas of the match which put them at the back foot and let River Heights take charge of the game. Dama SA takes a solitude in the fact that they managed to make it to the last eight of the 2024 campaign and not making it a bad season all in all. On the other hand, the boys from the river will now have to put up a brave face and make sure that they are up there for the taking as the matches only get tougher from here onwards. Uh, to be honest with you, the first leg we did pretty well. Uh, compared to this one, uh, we lacked motivation, we lacked a bit of resilience, although we got the resilience back in the second half. But end of the day is that I believe in these guys. And the aim was here to come and beat these guys. Unfortunately, they uh, are having better players than us. And an excuse. Um, they moved the ball very well. As we lacked in a bit of uh, the way we moved the ball, it wasn't good. Really, everything was just off the game. So, Congratulations to Revive. No, congratulations to them in the semi finals. But I'll say this now next year we are also coming to compete for this. Because the aim at Dama is always to, to go to the finals. So, good for them, good luck. Uh, we end it here. We, we come back, we regroup, check when we need to improve. And then next year we come compete for the, for the, for the league again. Okay, uh, one thing we must pick up is that uh, we lost our main striker. We lost our main striker, uh, some players injured, played with some players that are sick as an excuse. So we had to make a change in the first half. So everything was just not on our side today. Unfortunately, it's football. We can't do anything about it. All we can do is look forward. And we come back next year and we are going to be a team to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah no, no. You know, uh, planning is key. We, we, we planned last, uh, the previous weekend we played 2-2. We played so we went back to the training field, we, we planned accordingly and then got our three three goals, three points. So uh, we, we planned them. But definitely there is always room for you know, uh, we need to improve on intensity or the boys are playing. You know, what I always say is uh, the way you train is the way you play. So sometimes the boys uh, tra uh, intensity of training is very low. So we need to work on that so that we can just convey it into the game. But all in all I'm happy got the goals. So we will see, we will plan according to the semis. I don't know, I don't know currently, I don't know, but anyone, we, it's a semi, so anyone can come. We are, we are ready for anything.
Come on, boys! SKW's under-19 booked their place in the final of the MTC Hopsol Youth League when they won a 3-5 on penalties against Ramblers at the Yanmor football field this past weekend. Winning coach Lucky Kakuva from SKW felt that it was a typical derby match while controlling the larger part of the game. Kakuva took note of the fact that his charges were superior throughout the match, even though the winner had to be decided on a penalty shootout. I think it was a it was a typical derby match, you know, daily darling. But I think we we control most of the match. But uh, yeah, it it, it, it it was it developed into a scrappy match. But I think in terms of build up, in terms of transitions, I think SKW from a technical and tactical perspective, we are kindly superior. And then um, I was actually disappointed uh, with the way my, my, my boys acquitted themselves that we could not take, you know, on the balance of play, we actually had as a team better chances, but uh, it was not to be. But uh, yeah, penalties, uh, it's a lottery and then uh, we, we were lucky we went through. I'm not training, you know, sometimes, you know, some of the guys are not coachable, you know, the guys are not uh, level-headed at times. Um, sometimes they are they are restraining, but yeah, uh, the pressure of the match also also counts. But I think going forward, uh, they need to just calm down, be level-headed, and then uh, they will get things right. Yeah, I think the previous match was against um, OSS, the knockout match. But um, yeah, um, from my perspective, we are, generally we are one of the better teams. Um, uh, this was just one of those matches. But despite not uh, firing on all cylinders, I think on the balance of play, we are the better team. We possessed the ball better, we had more of the possession, more of the chances. It just did not happen. We were rushing at times, we were rushing the passes. But uh, yeah, sometimes you also need to understand the quality of the pitch is not right for the type of football we play. So it was also a contributing factor. But um, at the end of the day, congratulations to SKW at La uh, Especially in the offensive third, uh, we, need to, we need to get our uh, passing patterns right. And then um, very important for the players to tack opportunities away because only, only goals change games and nothing else. I was never worried because I trusted my players, I trusted in my keeper. Um, first of all, I want to also thank him. And I also trust in my players. I knew that we were going to finish it in the shootout. Um, today's uh, performance was excellent, I'd say. We worked together, what we did at training, we applied it into the game. So it was a 10 out of 10 for me, compared to the others. We could um, just improve in our finishing. That's all I can say. From then on, we are top. Um, it was really a tough game, but we had chances that we could put away and win it during the game. Nah, we had the game brilliantly, but uh, we could not just take our chances. It was an easy game, like we got most of the chances in the game. We had a better side. The defensive wise, they were not good. They, they were not good, uh, so we could take our chances. We got like in five minutes, we got three chances that we could take and win the game, even 2 0 first half. Uh, Hopefully we'll just work on our finishing, take our chances. Every chance counts in the game, so yeah, a goal will count. You could, you can play good football, but as long as you don't score, you don't count. Colin Benjamin's Soccer Academy are also through to the finals when they won on penalties against River Heights Football Academy 7-6. Enrico Bortus, coach of CBS, said the match was nerve-wracking, which resulted in a very good game of football in the end. Yeah! 
the shots were ringing as both sides came out attacking, trying to put the match to rest, but the soccer gods wanted more from this thrilling encounter. Players had to put their nerves aside as this was the deciding factor if their side was to book their place in the finals. The penalty shootout had parents at the edge of their seats as this showed the character on how boys could apply themselves when they were under pressure. Ah, nerve wracking. Uh, first of all, very good game of football. Uh, I think the Namibian, the youth, is in good hands. Good game of football, good tactics from the coaches. Uh, right until the end, you can see in the penalties, even we went to sudden death. So, a good game of football. I'm just elated for my boys that they got the win in the end. I was worried because that's not, that's not how we play. Our game is not uh, playing in the, the long balls in the opposition half. We like to play from the back. Uh, build up to the midfield and then but I think they were nervous from the start and and then I, I, I changed it at half time and said you need to calm down and start playing. Unfortunately we got a red card uh, but still I think we managed and we almost got it over the line. Just that last minute they scored and then it just nerves. I mean penalties you cannot you cannot dictate what's gonna happen. I mean at, at that stage uh, my my mind is, is racing, it's it's confusing, it's it's I don't know what to do. Because when it comes to that, it's out of the coach's hands. Uh, but I think that the players, the, the ones that took the spot kicks, it was good. They held the nerve, and uh, I'm just I'm just delighted that we're in the final. Yes, just our discipline. Because we we're looking to get to get unnecessary cards all the time. So discipline is very important. Because um, we we got a we got a red card in the last match. Now another red card. So I think discipline-wise, my boys need to keep calm heads. And uh, obviously, the final anything can happen. So uh, we will prepare this week. And come next week Saturday, hopefully we will be, we'll be victorious again. Yeah, and the game was very good with our ups and downs. Uh, the team started off very very well. We scored in the first half, second half we got a red card and the team equalized in the last minute. But yeah, here we are. We won on penalties. Yeah, it's a little bit in the game because like we one man down and the team were like uh, coming at us a, a lot. They were attacking a lot. Oh, only the fighting spirit was good. For this game, the fighting spirit was good. Ah, it all starts from the training grounds, man. It's all from the training grounds. We training from the training grounds. Um, it was high intense, and um, I think today we played very well. Um, it's just like the red card. The red card let us switch off a little bit, but it didn't look like we had a red card today. Oh no, um, it was a silly challenge. Um, Mr. Ref was already looking for him and just being the red card. Yeah, just on penalties. Penalties. We need to improve on penalties. We had a great game, but we didn't convert our chances. Like, I think we were supposed to get a penalty, but we did not get it. And then we went to the penalties, and then I saved two penalties, and then I scored the winning penalty. Because we were one man down, and that means that we, we had to work extra hard. Oh, vamos! Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. Like, yeah. See, it's, it's CBS. Ob obvious we're going to win. It's CBS. 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 Oh, obvious. Obvious. <laughs> the game was hectic. It was a lot of pressure. Uh, we fight. We fight until the end, like we usually do. But we couldn't uh, uh, succeed to the finals. Uh, they were good. We tried the penalties. The keeper was too good. There was no problems in the field. Everything was good. It was just unlucky, like penalty shootouts. You never know who's gonna win at penalties. I feel like this is one of the best games Rivers has ever played. Uh, it's, it was actually astonishing, like, it was good, it was breathtaking, like, there was no other game like this. We tried and we lost. We just need to work on our fitness, but not, nothing but that, we are good. I know the game was tough, you know, whenever CBS and Rewrite is playing, it, it's just like a cup final. Uh, they scored the first goal and uh, we managed to come back. And, you know, Belendi is a... Uh, 
It's not guaranteed. So I think the boys did pretty well. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. There is always it's a, it's a semi-final, and whenever we play against peers, we prepare very well. And that's what happened today. They were they were marvelous today. They, they did what we said at the training field, and unfortunately, we lost out of the finals. Yeah, yeah, no. I've been there. I've played the game, so I know. Poland is is a, a gamble thing. So we we train, but you know, at the match day, things will things will not work your way. But they scored the goals. We we got one. We had the chance to win it. But unfortunately, we couldn't. Most, most definitely, there's always room to improve. These are young boys. We just need to mold them, guide them. You know, it's a loss for them. They feel down. So I, it's my job to pick them up again and tell them that with boys, let's go for. Athletic Football Club Academy continued their dominance in Group A when they killed off DTS 2-1 at the Yanmore football field. ACFA tucked their goals early in the second half when they caught DTS off guard when they could only afford a consolation goal in the last quarter of the second half. Luckily for DTS, they narrowly make it through to the next knockout stages for a chance of redemption. It was evident that the guys were a bit winded. Um, yeah, we just lacked starting that starting flame that starting fire um two goals um in the first half second half our second half was better but we lost we lost this game in the first half already um so the first half we we tried we were forced actually to put players in unfamiliar positions and i think it's more confidence thing um but second half we grew a bit in confidence and in, even with with the 10 men down we still always felt like we we, we could get something from the game yeah, so second half much better than the first. Yeah, like I said, it looked like we were a bit winded. Um, so we'll have to take it back to the, the training ground and just because this time of the year, players become fatigued, they become distracted. We've been playing the whole year, but now it's, it's that last final push. We need to dig deep and, and pull a rabbit out of the head. I would uh, say it's, it was a good game. It was a fair game. Playing field was level. So my boys basically dig deep. I spoke to them. I told them, guys, hey, second half of the season. And we tried to try and collect the points from the guys who took points away from us. So that's what they basically did. They responded very well. I told them, OK, guys, we are leading 2-0. So for me, the best form of defense is to attack, number one. And then number two, the longer we have got the ball, the chance of scoring is zero. So I think they become too relaxed and, you know, started to just do their own stuff. That's why we, we conceded. So I think that was a big wake-up call to them. So I believe uh, they won't repeat such a thing in, in the next games. I know we, we are we are going into the, into the knockout stages now. So I think uh, we're just going to go back to the drawing board. We're just going to dig, uh, dig deep again and then try and work on those small individual details of the game. And then uh, we, we can see how far we can go. But I told the boys, uh, the better we, we perform like we did in the previous two games against uh, DS, KFA and DTS now, we stand a chance to go forward. Yeah, I'm very much happy. I'm very much happy of their progress individually, collectively as a team. So I, I see a bright future for these youngsters. The promising prospects of the MTC Hobsol Youth League's under-15 locked horns at the Yanmore football field. 
ACFA went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kasona FA and emerged victorious on penalties, winning the match 4-3. The nerve-wracking match was a delight on how these boys will be the pride of the country if they keep on displaying this mouth-watering football prowess. It was one of those games. It was really one of those games, and we have been playing Hopsol so far, but today's game was really, like you said, a nerve-wracking one. You see, you go all the way up to the penalties. I think my players overall, they did well. It's just one of those days, like, it's penalties, you know, it's unpredictable. But overall, I'm just quite happy with how they played, how they conducted themselves in different ways on the soccer pitch. Yeah, yeah, I, I would attribute that to maybe the preparedness of the first to the game. Uh, we didn't have much like 100% match in terms of, of preparation so you could see that they lack of confidence here and then like you said if we could have you know trained a lot I think we would have buried the game as early as we could have done. Um, we have to go back to the drawing board it has been a very good season uh, we are quite happy with how they have, uh, have conducted themselves throughout the tournament and uh, we're just going back to the drawing board and see how we pick it up from the next season. Yes. <laughs> It was a very easy game. You know, if you play against Kasana, you know, you need uh, stamina from your boys. It always comes in hard. And they like playing long balls. And my boys are not used to that. Uh, we manage because they were also having a fast striker. We tried to play our uh, formations and the tacticals that we train at the training ground. But it did not pay off. So Kasana was always first on the ball and we were always second. It was the first half. The second half, I do some couple of changes when we came in. Uh, I make it uh, more wider for them and I played 1v1. And we have a couple of chances, but we did not put it away. Uh, that's my guy. That's my player. We believe in him. We believe in him. And you know, the other thing is, the Pelendi take us also, we believe in them because we normally are not training. This, but we believe in the players that is taking, especially also the goalkeeper that we have. For now, I just want to improve the tempo that we are playing was a bit slow for me, so we have to improve a bit on that and get more one p ones to penetrate the spaces and get numbers in the box. Yeah, the fit was going easy.